A century ago, Albert Einstein proposed his theories of relativity. Little did they know that these theories will soon be applied to our technology. In this case, global positioning systems. One key to understand Einstein's theories of relativity is to know about reference frames. This is a system of geometric axes to label points in space with block to track time. Your position is your reference frame, in which you perceive things in your way. Time is one of those things. Assume we have two clocks in which each second depends on a photon hitting the upper side of the clock. The speed of light is constant even in motion. Clock A will be stationary relative to our reference frame while clock B will be set in motion. Notice that clock B has lower time because the photon actually has greater distance to travel. This also applies to the wheels and cogs of real clocks. Time behaves differently when in motion. But how about with space-time? Every matter lies on a space-time fabric, which is bent by massive bodies like Earth. Just put in mind that space-time is not two-dimensional. Because of this, matter falls radially inward, and it also affects time. Time runs faster away from Earth than it is on the surface of the Earth. In 1976, the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory launched a rocket that carried a clock 6,000 miles away from Earth. When the clock returned, it sped up in a rate of 1 second every 70 years. Now, how does this affect GPS? GPS tracks a reference frame with its overall 30 satellites, including 4 spares, in a process called trilateration. Assume these points A, B, and C are satellites. Satellite A's distance to the receiver will be measured with the radius of this circle. The same process is done with the other satellites. Finally, we come up to a common point. This is your location. However, this happens in three dimensions and of course with time. Here's the problem. Einstein's years made it clear that time is relative. Each satellite orbits at a speed of 14,000 kilometers per hour. Earth-based receivers would have faster time and satellites moving faster, thus having slower time, would actually fall back 7 microseconds per day. Also, these satellites orbit at 20,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. This would affect satellites' clock and will be faster about 45 microseconds per day than Earth-based receivers. With this, satellites would be 38 microseconds faster than Earth-based clocks enough to disrupt the system in a way that GPS would be 11 kilometers inaccurate to your position daily. Einstein's theories help engineers to adjust these clocks. These are theories which may be made a century ago but still plays a big role in today's technology. So remember, when you find the best restaurant, find the best resort, or even grab a ride home with GPS, you're actually using the theory of relativity.